Last man fucking standing. Huh? Let's go. <laughs> I got some. I'm with Noah Jensen here inside the Forge FC locker room. How does this feel? Amazing. Can't really put words to it, but for me, two two and two years is fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. That was one of the craziest games of soccer or football you're gonna ever gonna be a part of. You come off in a brilliant performance as a false nine. What are you watching on the bench and how are you seeing it unfold? I told everyone out on the field that's why I love football, games like that. I don't think you'll ever see a game like that again, and it was just a pleasure to watch Benny and Porter do this thing. As you mentioned, Nora, it's two and two. This cannot be taken for granted, though, no? No. Every, Beck says it all the time, you know, like, we don't have a contract with trophies. They, they come and go in your career, but when you have these moments, you got to enjoy them. And enjoy it in front of your home fans. How yeah, was that? That was brilliant. They were brilliant. We knew they were going to be brilliant. They came out in numbers, and... What an honor to be the first team to lift it in front of their own fans. Back-to-back -back starts and back-to-back -back phenomenal performances by you. Congratulations. Go get Thank another you. drink. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm here with Kwesi Poku, one of the best under-21 players this season and, a, and now another winner. How does this feel? It's amazing. I can't even describe it. You know, to play a bigger role this year, it's, it's just been amazing. It's been a rough ride for me. It was a rough game today. I got hurt, but it's all worth it in the end. Quasi, let's talk about the emotions of football and tell me if I'm wrong, but I think about an hour and a half ago you were in tears in here at half time because you couldn't play in the second half and now you're here getting wet a different way. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's just how life goes, that's how soccer goes and all that matters is that I'm here now. What's it like to be a part of this team to know that winning is really the only formality? It's amazing. These guys come in every day with the same standard. We just, every day we just work, every day we expect winning from each other. Every day is competitive and that's why we're here every single year. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you so much. I'm here with Jordan Hamilton. My friend, I think this is your eighth major honor. Yeah. How special is this one? Honestly, it's just a blessing. Some guys, you know, play a whole career and don't win or get a few chances. I've been lucky enough to play for a trophy nearly every year I've been a pro, so it's something I don't take for granted and I'm uh, extremely grateful uh, to God and the blessing that he gave me. And yeah, it's a uh, winner's win. That's what they say, right? No, undoubtedly, this is a winning dressing room. You've been there with Toronto FC, you've been there with Columbus Crew. How does this group compare knowing that they are just pure winners? Very similar, you know, the, the main thing that I find with winning locker rooms and I try to bring it when I go to a locker room is the brotherhood, you know. I look at, you know, the year that obviously TFC had this year and they were disappointed and they talk a lot about there was no brotherhood and stuff like that. You could catch us all on a night out as a whole group and it was like that with Columbus and it was like that with TFC when we won, you know, it's uh, a difference when guys will go out on the field. <laughs> The difference when guys will go out on the field and, and go to war for each other and, and want to see the next guy succeed, you know. And I think between our attacking group, me, Borges, Dav, Wubins, uh, Taren, no matter who was doing well at the time, we were always happy for each other, always pushing each other in training. I think that's the difference between winning teams and losing teams. Very well said, my friend. Go get another drink. You're another champion. Congratulations. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, man. I'm here with Wubins Passius. You scored 10 goals this season, but you couldn't play in the playoffs because of broken foot. Mm -hmm. You're hobbling around here, but you're hobbling around a champion. So how are you feeling? It's, it's incredible. Again, like last year again, and for some of them here four times, it's, it's an incredible feeling. And I'm, I'm really happy, grateful for that. And again, super happy. What about this locker room? The fact that you've got players like Dom Samuel, Alexander Ashnodi Janssen, Kyle Becker, David Schwanya, Tristan Henry, five players there who've won four times in five years. Yeah, incredible. Again, these players are, are here every day. They work hard to try to push us to go and go every day to win again. And it's incredible to have these type of players in the locker room. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you so much. I'm with Dom Samuel, who's now a four-time champion. How does that sound? <laughs> incredible. That's absolutely insane. Four and five.
Four and five years is absolutely insane. Insane. I love it though. You played an enormous part of developing the culture here. I know you come from a fantastic sporting family, Merlin, Artie, and everybody else. You bring that mentality. How special was it to do that tonight here in Hamilton? Very special. Very special. I uh, try and bring 100% or 110% every single day, just vibes in the locker room. You know, all the boys, they put in the work every single day, and it shows. It really shows. Whether you're starting or you're coming on or you're not playing, you've always had the same mentality. But today, you get the nod at half time. What was that like to say, we need to, we need you out there? Uh, you know, I had to step up. You know, I wasn't, obviously wasn't expecting to uh, come on the field, but you know, coach has us ready every single day at any moment. So I just came on and I, I did my job. The drinking out the cup here next to us. Last one, <laughs> last one is about your coach, Bobby Smirniotis. Can you put into words what he means to this group? Everything, literally everything. He's the one who comes in, inspires us to be our best, to put our best forward every single day. Not only on the field, but in real life, so. Not one, not two, not three, four-time champions. <laughs> four, four. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really happy for you, Thank man. You. Oh, sorry, man. I'm gonna have one, okay? It's all good, it's all good. We good? <laughs> I'm with skipper Kyle Becker. Buddy, you did it again. How does this feel? It's unbelievable to do it here at home, to be the first team to do it at home, to be against Calgary. I think it was special. I think it's great for the league. But I'm just so happy for our fans, man. You love this sport. You and I have spent hours talking about it. Have you ever seen a game like that? And if not, what was that like to be a part of in that extra time? It's fascinating, really. It's crazy. It's, it seems ridiculous to say like them scoring, I think, was the best thing for us. We obviously had to go for it now. It stopped being so cagey. We couldn't, we couldn't just sit back and all that, like the tension was gone. We had to go. It was the best thing for us. And we went, the boys played a little more free. We saw the game opened up. Credit to Benny and Borges, man. A little bit of, a little bit of luck in a final. It's unbelievable. You just answer my next question, but I'll phrase it like this, the mentality, because when you went down a goal, it didn't look like that you thought you'd lost. Which is great. I, I mean, the credit to the fans here. They were loud, they were, they were making noise all night and we knew we had to go out, we had to fight. A few weeks ago, I don't know who remembers, we were playing our last home game here against Ottawa. And I think it left a little bit of a sour taste in everybody's mouth that we were kind of just calm with that 1-0 win at home. We understand, yeah, it's for the standings, but the, the city here, they deserve more than that. We know we have to go out, we have to put a shift in for them, and they're going to respect us for that. So there was, no, there was no question we couldn't quit. Obviously, it's a final two. You have to leave everything on the table, but we knew for them we had to go. Last one for you. There's nothing more special for me than covering winners because I know what that's like. But what was that like for you to lift that trophy here in the center of that pitch that's meant so much to you in this city? It's been a weird year. So there's a lot of ups and downs. We talked about it a lot leading up to this game. I mean, for, for better or for worse, we just kept going. We just kept going. And that's what it was. So credit to the fucking boys, you know what I mean? I'm with defender Rezat Rama. What a game you had tonight, by the way. You stepped up. You're absolutely amazing out there. What's this feel like to win a Thank game? Thank you. <laughs> winning a normal game, it's it's nice. Imagine winning a, a fucking final. It's amazing, of course. Sorry for the word. Yeah. That's okay. We understand. What was the feeling like when you went down a goal? Because it didn't look like that your team felt like you'd lost. Honestly, I don't know why, but I, I believe a lot that we can come back. I believed and I saw that in the pitch. I don't know if you saw me, I was like, the guys head up because of course we can. We did it before. We did lots of games. We came back in tough games. And we, we showed that to every team that even if they score, this is maybe what we need to wake up, you know? And we went back so like with the, with the best. We tried our best. A nice goal. So. You, you've won back-to-back -back years here. Bobby Smeniota says it's not easy to be a Forge player because of the demands he's had on you, but I'm sure it's all worth it when it comes like this. Of course, but it's so hard man, in mentality when you win to go again and win. But this is what you need every day when you're in training, when you're everywhere you are, you have to think that I want to be a champion, you have to have a champion mentality. That's the most important thing, champion mentality, that's nothing else. You're a champion again, congratulations on a tremendous performance. Thank you very much.
I'm with the great Ashton Morgan, who a couple of months ago in this very room, they said goodbye to you. Yeah. You're back to get what you deserve as a medal, and you just saw Forge win again. What, what does this feel like? It's amazing. I'm so happy for the group. I'm so happy for the club. You know, I'm happy they invited me back to come celebrate and enjoy this moment with them because they've worked hard, and I'm so happy for all the boys, and I'm happy to be a part of the history again. You're a legend of the Canadian game. Have you ever seen a game like that in your life? Honestly, it was... It was Lovely. I wish we did it earlier, but honestly, all the boys put the, their best foot forward and, you know, the best team won tonight. I want to ask you about Tristan Borges because perseverance is a skill you need in this game. You know what that's like to be down and then up again. He hasn't had an easy year on and off the field. And then for him to deliver like that, what does that kind of say in a message to all footballers all around the world, young or old? You have to stay patient and wait for your time. You know, I've, I've been lucky to play, play with Tristan Borges. Wonderful, what a, what, what a wonderful player, wonderful human being, and I'm so happy for this moment for him. And you know, I'm here for him, and he's a, you know, he's a gem. He's just a gem. My last question for you is this: It's about team culture. You're now over at Toronto FC, and you need to build that team culture. We know that, and you will do that. But what about this team culture here, and what Bobby Smiliotis has brought here for Hamilton for five years? They've done it in four, four out of five. You know, this, uh, this team, this club is a dynasty. You know, and it's. Uh, it's an amazing thing, and I'm so happy. I was grateful to be a part of it, you know, and uh, yeah, it's a dynasty. Ash, you deserve every minute of this. Enjoy it, my friend. Thank you, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Great work. Cool. Thank you. Great work, guys. Yes, let's go!